Well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Stage Zero Life Sciences Channel on a mission to help reduce the incidence of late stage cancer through early intervention. Joining us to give us some highlights to what we can expect in the latter half of the year and early, into early next year, we have James, the Chief Executive Officer. First and foremost, welcome, sir. Thank you, Kyle. Always love having you on. So I want to get right into this because we saw some growth uh, coming out of Q2 that we we did touch on. We saw about 121,000 in gross profit. You're on the path to uh, profitability break even uh, perhaps by the end of this year. Do you want to first and foremost kind of give some highlights on uh, what you thought about the earnings and what we can kind of expect from that growth uh, vector into the fall? Yep, good point. We've now had three quarters of growth. Um, you know, modest, but still three really good quarters of growth as we build on now, if you look on through. So coming out of COVID, I think everyone's aware of the switch across to cancer only. From cancer, it's nice to show the growth. All of this preparation as we move out into the rest of the year. Um, we work across the various units. Um, we typically regard UK uh, versus North America as a little different, working to make sure that all of those pieces are above break even. And um, the big advantage with that is not that getting to break even is, is the most critical thing. But what it does is it removes the pressure on funding. Um, it allows us to move forward in that way, it allows us to make more rational decisions. So that's a good move. Now, moving forward here, just specifically from this this growth standpoint, from an investor relation partnership activity, I know you've been opening clinics here. Are you guys going to more conferences, looking for more clients? What's kind of the the growth? How are you guys putting your heads down and uh, really grinding this out through the fall? Yeah, exactly. From now until May really is the big part of the year. Um, you know, post Labor Day, everyone comes back again, schools are in, people back to business, it's all of that. So our big growth period is really from now through May. So getting all of the partnerships that we've been putting in place are key. Uh, we're starting with the lab group as we move it on out. We'll make those announcements over the next little while. We, for example, um, on one of the studies, the, the Aristotle study with the key center, the key cancer centers, we've given that the go ahead. So we're beginning with all of those pieces as we drive. So it is, it is one of execution. It's one of making sure that everything that we've been building actually gets into place and begins to drive the growth that we're all looking for. Um, additionally, it's conference time. And so um, we'll be speaking at a variety of conferences between now and May. Um, that's a chance for investors, I think, to stay absolutely up to date. What we're doing now is another way to do that, but conferences obviously are useful. It's also where we can take meetings with investors. So we'll publicize those as well. Now, James, just to uh, follow up with uh, just one quick question when it comes down to if there's one thing that you're most focused on, if there's one thing that investors should most focus on, what is it with stage zero? It is um, the announcement of the names of the partners and us actually showing what we're doing with them. That's what provides the growth in terms of all of this. And we'll try and be as transparent as possible, understanding that um, partners don't always like being used as a marketing vehicle. So um, we will do what we can to make sure people see where we're going. But that is it. It's the deployment of resources against the partnerships we've established that drives the growth. On that note, I'll pass the question off to the viewers. We'd love to know what you think in that comment section below. And consider subscribing because as this news, as these catalysts come into play, we're going to update you here. But on that, we look forward to catching you in the next one.